Hi everybody, um, Mike Stevenson here at the Nordic Integration Summit. So I've grabbed Wagner and I want to have a bit of a chat with him after his session and, and really just questions I think people will be interested in um, in asking. So Wagner, you, you were telling us a bit about the Dev Experience Roadmap for Logic Apps um, mm -hmm. and you were talking about Dev Container. So for people who aren't mm. familiar with it, tell me what, what is Dev Container? Why should I care about it and how is it going to help me build logic apps better yeah so the uh, uh, dev container is is a way for you to encapsulate a whole environment right uh, uh, inside a container specific for your visual studio code uh, uh, setup right so with that you can have like different sets with just the right amount of uh, uh, extensions just the right amount of uh, uh, infrastructure or, or dependencies installed which simplifies your your uh, uh, development because you don't start to run into problems that are bring by one extension don't play well with the other or uh, uh, I need to have dependency for this part this type of application on a certain version or level and yeah. on the other one on a different level. So encapsulating all of that, right, and creating an, uh, uh, something that is easy to, to the, uh, stand up and tear down for, and at the same time knowing that it works every time for your use case makes your life a lot easier as a developer plus this can be tied to your uh, uh, workspace in, this, in the case of logic apps right so if you have different versions of uh, uh, logic apps and getting uh, uh, maybe some legacy code versus some newer code that has different uh, things, you can still uh, uh, tie your environment to what you need without having to have like 10, 15 machines. Yeah, so, so is that kind of the, the bit where you have the dev container file in the workspace that yes. lets you do that on that workspace level? So the dev container file is really the manifest for that. So you, you have a definition like what is the image that are going to create the container? Yeah. On top of that, you can say, add those specific features, right? Maybe I'm going to add Git, maybe I'm going to add a, 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 a specific version of Java, right? Uh, uh, then add my VS Code instances, uh, uh, VS Code extensions, the settings for those extensions, and potentially uh, uh, where I'm going to be putting data that I wanted to persist. Yeah, right, yeah. so you can you can set up you, you defined that uh, manifest. When VS Code starts running, it gets that manifest it loads. If it doesn't find a container with that configuration, it creates one. Right, loads the image, do everything. It finds a container that is there. It just started that container, mm -hmm. and with that you can like after the first boot. Yeah, like it's almost like creating a machine but automated. After you do that, then you have uh, the, uh, uh, the container speed up uh, uh, super fast. So I think, so am I right, the, the two use cases for people at home that this is really going to help with will be, I've not touched my logic app for a week, I opened this solution up and some dependency outside my code has changed <coughs> and now I've got a problem and something doesn't work and it, it, sometimes it's not yeah. even the logic app team, it can be one of the other teams deploy something that is uh, 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 one of the things that we we've been struggling and, uh, uh, and and getting a lot of feedback from customers is I love the idea that you're trying to help me with uh, uh, automating the, the, the uh, dependencies but sometimes I don't have permissions to do that yeah. so I don't know when your dependencies change or uh, uh, it, you end up getting a uh, permission that is clashing with something else on my environment, right? And then because of that, I also have a problem. When you encapsulate this and you only add those dependencies, if you change a manifest file or you change an image, things become a lot more uh, controllable. Yeah, so this should really make a huge difference then for sort of the stability and um, yeah. just general storage for logic app dev, which would be really good. I think it'll help you guys get to the next level, won't it? Exactly, and having the, the uh, VS Code extension stable and the experience for the, 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 uh, the developer stable is our number one priority right now because yeah. we know that pretty much 
everyone like based on, on a lot of other uh, customer conversations everyone that is working with logic at this point at enterprise level is not doing development in yeah yeah because they needed to do everything else that comes with that source control yeah. unit testing uh, uh, automated deployment and you cannot get that from just working in for i think it, it's for me it's also kind of really big if you think of the strategy piece um so as we do more agent-based workflows, the, the idea for the logic app team, I guess, is to go from, instead of having you know 5,000 integration, enterprise integration customers, you want to go to these 100,000 other customers who could build agents with logic mm -hmm. apps that don't think of integration. You need that kind of developer experience similar to what we'll be used to with other technologies, I think. Exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, stability, uh, I think, is is the, the name of the game for the uh, uh, what we're trying to bring with that dev container uh, uh, support, and is that's not a novelty. That's not something new, right? It's like a, a dev con dev container is there for the, the uh, uh, for a while, and the, uh, I think most uh, uh, development environments for things like .NET or, or, or Java, Python. They already have even templates for that, mm. right? We the, the, uh, we started investigating this early, like uh, the, uh, maybe last year, together with uh, the, uh, someone uh, uh, at Microsoft, one of our, our uh, engineers at Microsoft. We had a template, mm. but at that time, uh, uh, we were already working. We were co already going GA with the, the uh, with the 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 automated uh, uh, installation, right? And at that point, the, the solution made sense. But based on customer feedback and seeing like those other environments where it's so locked down, so uh, they had so much compliance that uh, people were not able to take advantage of the feature, mm -hmm. right? So we decided to go with something that is a bit more uh, uh, easier for the, the uh, uh, the compliance team to understand, and it is more locked down. We're still going to have people that is not allowed to use Docker, mm -hmm. right? And that's why our fallback when I was discussing on, on the, the meeting is, if you're doing that, that we yeah. stop installing on your behalf, right? So you have full control of your attribute to install, but we give you a way with the health check to say, is your environment in a good state or not? Mm -hmm. So with that, then we can say, okay, something drifted. That's why Logic Apps is not working anymore. Yeah. I can go and correct. Yeah. So we're not going to, to like the, the, uh, keep you blind if you don't not able to use that container. We're going to give you that health check, but you have a, a more control on how you, you apply those uh, those changes. Sounds really cool. Exciting times for developer experience. Huh? Yeah, it's yeah. a lot of things coming. You see, like dev containers was one of the what four or five uh, things that yeah. we showed that is an active uh, uh, development coming, and all of them, as I discussed, is, is directly the uh, result of customer feedback. Yeah. But that means so that people the is using. What the takeaway was getting yeah. customers to tell you guys mm -hmm. what they need. Yeah, we see that people is using it, and because it's using it, is finding the places where it needs to be improved, mm -hmm. and we responded to that. Thank you very much for joining us. It's really good to see you. Again. Always a pleasure, man. If it stops. <laughs> I think my body's gone flat. <laughs>